So um, the first thing that we both noticed about Anna II was that just right off the bat, it sounds fatter than a 15th century royal family. Um, and just the overall layout, the the amount of oscillators and the three samplers, it's like having 18 synths in one synth, and they all sound delicious. You know, it's just it's just a crazy useful synth. Um, let's go ahead and load an init preset here and talk about what we got going on. So we have three oscillators here. Let's just make a basic saw base just to show you how easy it is. Um, we're gonna start with by just if if we hit just any key. We already have a basic saw wave right here. Let's uh, up that to like, I don't know, like three or four voices. Yay, it's like the 80s all over again. Um, let's add a filter. They have the sickest analog filters you could possibly imagine. Um, each of these has a different sound, a different feel to it. Uh, the more you experiment, the better. But let's just start off with a basic uh, rolly filter. Let's turn the cutoff over here all the way down. Let's turn the curve of the filter all the way up cut off down here and let's see what that does. It really filters it. Hang on, it really filters it. Let's turn up the envelope part here. And all of a sudden, um, dude, for nothing, you have just an amazing sound. And the actual warmth of the sound for a digital synth is just ridiculous. It just sounds like chocolate. Listen to this. It's so warm. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing on this. There's nothing going on. That's just you know shocking to us. Um, so let's go ahead and let's add some. Let's go to the sampler and let's choose some of the crazy samples that Slate has uh, given us in their downloaded content. Let's add a pluck on top of the bass. See what it does. And here you can choose in the sampler. You can choose um, how much of the filter you want. Let's go ahead and get rid of that filter to see what it's doing by clicking the X up here. Uh, it sounds like it's a little low, let's pick up the octave. And <laughs> there you go, like for nothing, you just like... <laughs> I don't know, this just sounds ridiculous. It just sounds so good. Um, let's, there's nothing, there's no, oh God. <laughs> it's just, it's so hard to get something so simple sounding so good. And for this you get, you know, an amazing bass sound for nothing. So let's add another, uh, oscillator here just to give it a little more oomph. We're gonna put two voices here, um, turn the volume down just a little bit and filter all the way up. Let's go down here. In this beautiful little tab here, we have um, arpeggiator, uh, chord manager, EQ, oscillator mix, mod matrix and settings. I'm gonna go to the oscillator mix to show you how simple it is to mix your, your, your sounds. Because there are six different oscillators, um, having this is an unprecedented advantage um, and it's just really nice to be able to visually see what's going on also. So let's solo the second oscillator here. That's adding, it's the same sound, so let's change the saw, let's change what kind of wave we got here. Let's go to, also Slate Digital's um, uh, wavetables are just ridiculously cool. Let's go to their analog and let's select a Juno saw for the hell of it. Let's see what that sounds like. Also, fatter than <laughs> you get the me <laughs> after Christmas. So let's go over here and let's mess around. Let's turn down the filter a little bit. I get the filter mix, which is really handy in case you want to open it up. But let's leave it at zero just to give it a nice spunky bass. All sounds really cool. Let's try messing around. The pulse width is gonna shorten that pulse a little bit. Let's see what this does. As you can see, it kind of cuts away a little bit of the um, of the low end and adds some more bite to it, but let's just leave it at full too. Sync is gonna kind of chop it up a little bit. Really handy for um, dubstep and, and a lot of acid stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and, I don't know, it sounds really good. Um, <laughs> Jesus, let's unsolo this. So, you know, for in a minute and a half, you have an amazing simple bass sound. Let's go ahead and add some white noise. Let's go back to the sampler, add some of Slate's noise. Let's go to noise, what do we got noise? We could go to Foley and add some plastic bags. Why not? Octave up. Let's get rid of the filter. Oh, that's crazy. Let's just do this and let's re-trigger it. And 
let's just see what the, just for the hell of it. I've actually never done this, but let's see. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> that's so gross. Why would anyone do that? But you never know. Let's add it on. Let's put it to the that, that attack might work in the base. You know. That's so. I can't. I can't. Let's turn on the filter. Hey, you know, if you want that there, let's just leave it in the background. Why not? So the, the most important thing we want to get to you here is that um, you can get really creative and all of modern bass sounds and really good bass sounds, they tend to stack a lot of percussion and weird sounds on them. So it's really, it's really a good idea to get your hands on some of these weird, try everything, you know, get weird percussion, record yourself saying Buddha, put it in there, get pitch that. it up, <laughs> get the buh, you know, and just get crazy and, and weird and this is the beauty of having six different samplers and oscillators and things because you can you can <laughs> for nothing instead of having you know 18 different synths you'll have one synth that sounds amazing already and you can you can play with it so let's let's just leave that like that let's add one more attack here just for the hell of it let's go to slay and let's do mallets and let's do blue man group jesus let's see what that sounds like by itself Let's get rid of the down like two yeah. or three. Look at that. That's a cool little attack. And that's the Blue Man group, you know? And now they're part of your base. So let's leave that like that. Why not? Let's uh let's up the release here a little bit. Just give it. That sounds crazy, like weird. Um, okay, so we have the mixing going on here. And remember, there's no effects going on. Let's add, what would you add? That sounds good to me as a bass sound. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. But just to, just to mess around a little bit, let's go ahead and mess some of these effects. Now, the effects in Anna 2 are delectable and glossomy. <laughs> I guess that's a word. They're just really nice. They're really good quality. Um, if, you know, I actually sampled one of my voice uh, things and chucked it in the sampler because I liked the plate sound so much with the, you know, with the wave shaper. It's just really fun. Add a bit crusher just for fun. Let's add a bit crusher. Why not? Let's go ahead here. Bit crusher. Let's turn down the dry wet. Turn it on. Let's turn the rate up to, let's see how this sounds here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just like, if you're over 70, you probably can't hear that, but still, <laughs> it's for the over 70 viewers, um, this just sounds just great, you know. Let's turn down the dry wet. Let's add, for the hell of it, let's go into distortion and see what they got. Now, these distortions are brutal, so use them wisely. Oh man, these are just disgusting. Look at this. Just when you thought it couldn't get. Dude, for, for when you thought it couldn't get fatter, it's just insane. Let's try out some of these different um, levels here. Each one will have a different sound, and with minor little adjustments here, um, you can make your bass sound from cool to like um, I don't know. Van Halen is playing his guitar through this thing. Let's try a different one. My favorite would be the rectifier. There you go. Turn it down. Down, leave it way in the back. Eat your heart out, Van Halen. There you go. Just a little bit more umph. And for, let me see, what else can we do here? Let's try adding some more distortion. Why not? <laughs> Let's clip it. <laughs> So the tone kind of regulates which uh, area it's getting to, and you push it up here and it'll go a little bit thinner. So let's leave that in the middle. Let's turn the dry wet down. Damn. So a starting point for a lot of the bass sounds that we do, we'll go, we'll turn the dry wet all the way up, turn the drive all the way up, and be like, oh my god, my ears! And then we'll turn it down. And then we'll turn the dry wet down. So it's all adding just a little bit. Uh, I would actually add another percussion in there just to make it more tunky, but it's still sounding pretty fun. Let's go here and add a... Pfft, oh, so the multiband limiter. Be careful with this thing. It is savage. Let's go ahead and up this right here. Turn it on first, though. So 
So as you can see, within five minutes, we created an original bass sound that no one else has that you can make at home with nothing, this, with you no, know, just simplicity. And um, there's there's nothing, there's no anything going on. This is super simple, you know. Um, so you can see the power of Anna Two just washing you away in a sea of delicious, creamy goodness. Anna 2 is available in the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which gives you thousands of dollars worth of award-winning plugins, the industry's most game-changing synthesizer, Anna 2, and the very best masterclass production courses taught by the industry's biggest pros, all for $14.99 per month.